we're at the Riverside Park Water Reclamation Facility in Spokane, Washington. This plant was originally built in 1958 as a primary plant. It was upgraded to secondary treatment in the mid-1970s. It currently treats an average of about 35 million gallons per day. Slayton was brought on to complete the Phase 1 and Phase 2 upgrades to this facility. Phase 1 was uh, upgrades to the existing facility, including new chemical storage building, which we're standing in here, as well as the primary pump station and PC5 clarifier and upgrades to the existing aeration basins. Phase 2 is installation of a whole new treatment facility. It's a membrane tertiary treatment facility and we're about 50% complete with that right now. The three parties involved in this project primarily are the owner, the City of Spokane, the contractor, which is a joint venture of MWH, Constructors, Sladen, and b and &E Electric, and our design engineer, Jacobs, formerly CH2M Hill. We're also using Paul Corporation as the supplier of the membranes. There's been very close collaboration between these four parties to ensure that the design is as optimal as possible and that the construction schedule and budget can be met. The GCCM contracting method allows us to work together as a team, both the construction team, the owner, and the engineer in collaboration to solve problems that benefit schedule and budget. And it also allows for a lot more enjoyable workplace. The GCCM method was chosen mostly to make sure we met the timelines for ecology, but also to give a good opportunity for the designers and the contractors to work together to get an optimal design and to ensure that the contractors understood the design as the work proceeds. This process has worked well for this project because quite a bit of innovation has been involved in plant shutdowns and some of the more complicated steps of phasing the construction into the plant while it's operating. Over the course of the last three years and then the remaining year and a half, we have 18 full-time staff members supporting the project as well as all the way up to about 125 craft employees on the site. About 75% of that is all slate and self-perform work. That's mechanical excavation concrete. And the remaining 25% makes up our subcontractor force completing scopes like electrical, HVAC, pre-engineering middle building uh, erection as well. The city about eight years ago really focused on an integrated plan, which we called Cleaner River Faster, to focus our efforts on making this river as clean and usable, fishable and swimmable as possible.